Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible. As we read Isaiah chapter 5, the parable of the vineyard. Now let me sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved regarding his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard on a very fruitful hill. He dug it up and cleared out its stones and planted it with the choicest wine. He built a tower in its midst and also made a wine press in it. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge please between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done to my vineyard? that I have not done it in it. Why then, when I expect it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? And now please let me tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge, and it shall be burned, and break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down, and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned or dug, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain on it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and men of Judah are his pleasant land. He looked for justice, but behold, oppression, for righteousness, but behold, weeping. Woe to those who join house to house, who add fields to fields, till there is no place where they may dwell alone in the midst of the land. In my hearing, the Lord of hosts said, Truly many houses shall be desolate, great and beautiful ones without inhabitants. For there ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath, and a homer of seed shall yield one ephah. Woe to those who rise early in the morning, and they may follow intoxicating drink, who continue until night, till wine inflames them, and the harp and the strings and the tambourine and the flute, and wine are all in their feasts, but they do not regard the work of the Lord, nor consider the operation of his hand. Therefore, my people have gone into captivity, because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, shed Sheol has enlarged itself and open its mouth beyond measure. Their glory and their multitude and their form, and he who is jubilant shall descend into it. People shall be brought down. Each man shall be humble, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humble. But the Lord of hosts shall be called, shall be exalted into judgment, and God who is holy, shall be hallowed in righteousness. Then the lambs shall feed in their pasture, and in the waste places of the fat ones, strangers shall eat. Woe to those who draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin as if it were with a cart rope, and say that say, let him make speed and hasten his work, that we may see it, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw near and come, that we may know it. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, and who put darkness for light, and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe to men mighty at drinking wine, 
and vote to men valiant for mixing intoxicating drink who justify the wicked for a bribe and take away justice for the righteous man therefore as the fire devours the stubble and the flame consumes the chaff so their root will be as rottenness and the blossom will ascend like dust because they have rejected the law of the lord of hosts and despised the word of the holy one of israel therefore the anger of the lord is aroused against his people he has stretched out his hand against them and stricken them and the hills tremble the carcass were as refuse in the midst of the street for all this his anger is not burned away and his hand is stretched out still he will lift up banner to the nations from afar and will whistle to them from the end of the earth surely they shall come with speed swiftly and no one will be weary or stumble among them no one will stumble or sleep nor will the belt on their lions be loosened nor the strap of the sandal be broken whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent and the horses hoofs will seem like flint and their wheels like whirlwind their roaring will be like a lion and will roar like young lions and yes they will roar and lay hold of the grey of the prey they will carry it away safely and no one will deliver in that day they will roar against them like the roaring of the sea and if one looks to the land behold darkness and sorrow and the light is darkened by the clouds amen here ends the reading of isaiah chapter 5 may god bless the reading god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen